All right, today we're going to go through setting up your environment to start developing plugins on the BuildFire platform. Hey, hey. Let's get started. Okay, so hopefully you've gone and registered on the uh, dev portal at dev.buildfire.com. And uh, once you've registered, uh, it's absolutely free. You can come in and look at the resource center. And here you should be able to find uh, how to download the SDK. Um, one of the options is to go to GitHub and take a look at that. So now we're at GitHub. Uh, so if you go to GitHub forward slash buildfire slash SDK, um, you'll land at the same page. And here you can just download the zip file and unzip it on your local drive. Once you do so, it should look something like this. Once you have the SDK, you have everything unzipped, you can now open it up in your software development environment, whatever that may be. It could be brackets, WebStorm, Visual Studio, um, anything that really works for a web environment. In this case, we're gonna use WebStorm. Once you open it up, it should look something like this. You'll have all your files um, and folders loaded as uh, the same way as you unzipped it. If you go to your index.html and give that a run, it'll bring you to just a simple tutorial page of how to get started uh, with everything. All you really need to do is click on Test Plugin, in which case it'll take you to the Plugin Tester section of the SDK and pull up My Plugin uh, as the default plugin to begin editing. And here's your control side and here's your widget. Now you can go into the source code and begin uh, developing. Look for other tutorials to see how to actually develop a plugin. Thank you.